check this out. Lee time. Lithium batteries have come through for us. So the Winston's off the boat. They're gonna go back on the boat. Awesome. Let's check this out. These are 400 ampies with a 250 amp BMS built in. Nice little instruction manual there. These are pretty heavy. I don't know how I'm gonna get this out actually. Can I get you to remove the box? Ready? And the bag. Wow, nicely boxed up. So inside here are prismatic cells, a bit like the Winston, just smaller. And there's a BMS built in as well. Very simple. So the terminals are eight mm, and they give you some bolts here. Let's get these open. Nice. So this is a 12 volt battery, 5,000 watt hours or more. It says between four and 15,000 cycles, depending on depth of discharge. I think I've told you guys, my Winstons, you can discharge them down to 20%. That's, that's a depth of discharge of 80%. Our Winston bank was 800 amps. This is 800 amps. So it should be a perfect replacement. Post bolts here. Bolts. <laughs> well, there's nothing better to do than just install it, see if it works. It's only 85 pounds. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's better, it's better. Ah, there we go. One. Another one to go. So I'm gonna work down the tie down points. These are the ratchet straps. You gotta anchor these things because you don't want to move them around when you brake and accelerate. Go around corners. So I've got my angle plates here which will stop the moving sideways. Let me get the, inner, the other one. So I'm putting this end plate on, the bracket, to hold it sideways. And it's in the exact same spot as it was for the Winston. So, <laughs> except these were a little longer than the Winston's. So, but basically, you know, because there's a BMS inside there as well. So the format of the batteries, the, the prismatic cells, are ultimately a little bit smaller than the older ones. So that's a good thing. Higher energy density. Right, screw this on. Exact same hole. Wow. <laughs> and then it'll stop it going up and down. Awesome. And most of it stop moving all together, but I'm going to put a strap from there all the way around the front as well. Can't go backwards because of the wall. All right, well, with this front strap holding it tight, it's not gonna come forward, it's not gonna lift up. Nice and tight. I can now hook them up in parallel and hook them up to the system. Simple as that. Batteries are nice and secure. Next is to parallel them. 
nice sized oh, look at that even the curvature is perfect <laughs> that was a good guess right, let's go 18 inch difference in charge. I haven't got glasses but all right we're good. <clears throat> so uh, well that's fine but this one is gonna go hmm. probably there. Alrighty. I'll probably that'll be okay. So the bolt sizes on these terminals are way smaller than the uh, Winston one. So we'll see, I'm guessing maybe the Winston was just overkill. Those massive 13 millimeter bolts. Alrighty. I don't really want them resting on each other there. Should we go that way? Probably could go that way. I don't see why not. The lead times are installed. Got to say, so easy. The plug and play, you know, there's nothing to them. Compared to my Winstons, which were external, BMS, with balance wires running everywhere, you know, and connecting them all together correctly. This is uh, very simple to install. And BMS inside, you don't have to worry about anything like that. They will take care of themselves. So, they are running the system right now. I've got the three solar strings charging right now. A little over 1100 watts, 83 amps going in. And the inverter is running. These lead times, you know, they come with a five year warranty. They've got a 10 year lifetime expectancy and they quote between four and 15,000 cycles. And a cycle is a depth of discharge down to 80%. So you have 20% remaining in the battery. So that's pretty flat. And you can do that between four and 15,000 times, just depending on the depth of discharge and the way you use the battery. And they've got all sizes, of course. so. Uh, you can match what you need to your application. But I'm loving these ones. Working nice.